fashion show. Yeah, it's just a few weeks away, and the seven designers in this year's class are working hard to bring their vision to life. Jordan Segundo joins us live with a preview this morning. Hey, Jordan. Good morning. That's right. Only five weeks away from their fashion show. We are here at American River College. This is the collections designed uh, class here where fashion students are doing their capstone project here. We're going to first start off with the process. You know, we always see the runways, the beautiful fashions, but it starts with the process here. And in this class, it starts with a vision board. And we're going to talk with one of the students here. Nicole, tell us about your vision and what inspired your collection. Uh, my inspiration, my muse for this collection is the late uh, late 50s styles, Audrey Hepburn, Jackie O, um, and my season was fall, so that's where I started from Love. there, and then developed my uh, color patterns and my color theories, and uh, a million sketches later, <laughs> <laughs> decided on, on these, so this is what we are hoping to walk down the runway. And, in she, our and she has a model that uh, we're going to show in just a few, actually the fitting area, but you know, Timeless here on this side, we have Shannon, who's actually from Boston. She's here working very hard. Now, your collection, where are you at in the process right now? Um, let's see. Um, getting ready for a fitting, but not quite ready yet. Um, and, you know, just motoring along, you know, getting things done as much as I possibly can before the five weeks are up. You know, this is a class. What uh, has been a challenge for you trying to get your design from your head to the paper to the clothes? Well, actually, the biggest um, process is the pattern making and the fabric, wanting to have the fabric do what you want it to do. It doesn't always happen. Right. So <laughs> you have to know everything inside and out. You really so. do. All right, we're going to move on to this side. D Diana here, she actually has uh, one of the pieces or the, the looks here. Tell us what's your inspiration to your collection here because you're actually going across the ocean for your inspiration, right? Um, yeah. Um, my husband visited Kyoto um, a couple of years ago and brought back these beautiful pictures of um, the scenery there that included um, a lot of cherry blossoms. And so um, using the um, traditional Japanese shibori dyeing process, Wow, um, it's reflected wow. in that. I've um, created several different textiles and also um, the lace kind of um, uh, shows the, the laciness of the cherry blossoms. Very nice here. Now, again, these are just some of the students that will be a part of a big fashion show that is happening on May 4th. Now, this is not just fashion students. It is also promotion students. Tell us quickly about the production element and how a production class and promotions class is involved in this fashion show. Well, we cover the models, the staging, and all the sponsorships and judges. So it's really like hands-on and full-on from all aspects. So we're really learning how to engage with the community as well and how to put on an event like this in a short amount of time. Right. <laughs> it is the 18th annual fashion show that is happening here on May 4th. May 4th, right. yes. Two show times, one at 4 and one at 8. All right, so be sure we'll have all the information on uh, your screen there. Coming up in just a bit, we're going to show you more of the wonderful looks that are being created here at the uh, fashion class here. They're, they're busy, all right? Yes. So we're going to tell you and show you some of the creative looks coming up in so just a bit. We'll send talented. it back to the studio. Great looking designs. Jordan, thank you. Well, some of the best karaoke singers in the world.